In a previous video, we assessed how you can utilize the Duplicator WordPress plugin to transfer a website from a local test environment to your live host. This process works fairly well. However, depending on the plugins that you have installed, the Duplicator plugin may not change all of the associated links and data within your live website. For example, you might have a slider plugin installed on your website and the Duplicator plugin can't change all of the associated links and data within that plugin. That means that you need to run a script on your live host server to change appropriate information so that it is applicable for the live site. To do so, I'd suggest using a piece of script such as this, which is interconnect forward slash IT. Now, before I continue, there are plugins that you can install on your live site, which can essentially do a search, find and replace, so that words and information within your live site can be changed so they are applicable. However, I find that those plugins aren't particularly reliable, which is why I'm suggesting that you use this script. So let's dive in and figure out exactly what you need to do. So you need to download this script, and if you scroll down, there'll be a link at the bottom here. You've got the beta version and the stable one. I've used the beta one and it seems to work quite well. So I'm going to click download and then save. Now, once it has been saved, there is one crucial thing that you do need to do and extract the zip file into an appropriate location. Let's say your desktop for ease of use. And then you need to change the name of the folder so that it doesn't look too obvious on your server and therefore a security risk. So let's go ahead and do that. Here is the zip file in the download folder. I'm going to simply right mouse button on the zip file. And then I'm going to extract that to the desktop. And then I'm going to locate that file. And once I've located it, I'm going to rename the file something, anything you like. I'm going to simply call it the, so it doesn't look too suspicious when it is uploaded to the live host server. The next part of the process is to open FileZilla so that we can transfer the folder called the to the public HTML folder on the live server. So on the left hand side we need to go to the desktop where we've saved the folder and then scroll down so we can find it and there it is. Click on that and then we need to go on the right hand side and double click on public HTML so that we can upload it into that folder on the live server. So on the, highlight that, right mouse button and then click upload. The folder will be uploaded fairly rapidly and then if you scroll down within the public HTML folder you'll notice that it is there at the bottom. The next part of the process is to go to a browser and type in your domain name in the address bar and then forward slash the name of your folder. In this example it's the You'll be presented with this screen where you're able to add words or phrases or domain names that you'd like to replace and the associated words and phrases that you'd like to replace them with. So in most instances, it might be the base website that you'd like to change. So basewebsite.dev, for example, which would be your local website development name or whatever you've decided to call that and the new website name. So let's just call it domain com. It may also be associated words within the site if you're using this search and replace function to change information throughout a site, perhaps a, a brand name, so brand name one to brand name two, whatever it might be. You can assess the database details that we've got listed here, which is the live website database. So it's the name of the database, the username for the database and password, as well as the host. You'll then be able to do some work before you finally do the search and replace, which is just to essentially check everything's all working and the script is able to access the database and everything else. So scroll down and now click dry run. When the script has completed the dry run, you can scroll down and assess the results of all the tables and the potential cell changes that could be made if you subsequently click the live run, which will actually make the changes. Now in this example, if you look down the cells changed column, it's all zero. 
and that's because this website has already had the changes made so we've already changed from basewebsite.dev to the actual website name which obviously isn't domain.com now to do a particular test we're going to change basewebsite.dev to a word which I know is associated with this website and then change it to a different word so let's go ahead and do that the word we're going to replace is insulation and we're going to change it to word scroll down and now we're going to click dry run once more remember by clicking dry run it won't actually make any changes it's simply going to check the database for areas where that particular word is within the website and obviously the database this time the dry run results are different and if you scroll down and assess the cells changed column you'll notice that it says 16 potential changes for WP -E -W -W -W, three changes for rev slider one change for WP options eight changes for WP post meta and 183 for WP posts so essentially if we were to go up and click on live run that would actually go about making the changes within the database and of course insulation would change to word however we don't want to proceed with that change but that is the process you must though proceed with caution and you do need to check the specific areas of the database that are going to be changed and the cells that might be affected in some instances hitting the live run for all of the areas in the website may cause problems so you do need to be careful when you hit that live run obviously before you actually proceed and make changes to the live website you should have a backup of the WordPress files and the database before you do proceed so please please do that if you want to check the areas of the database that are going to be changed you can scroll down and click on the appropriate area in the cells changed column so in this example I'm going to click on WP post meta for these eight changes so click on the link and it will show you where the changes are going to be made in the left column is where the previous word is located and what it will be changed to on the right hand side you can scroll through the cells in the database that are going to be changed and then if you're not happy with that you can click close scroll up and then exclude tables from the database that you want to change so if you're not happy with making the change across the whole of the site you can exclude tables or alternatively you can simply change the whole of the database now when I proceeded with making the changes for the live website that I transferred using the duplicator plugin and then using this script I didn't avoid any of the tables or cells in the database I simply changed everything so that I knew that what was previously on the local website was changed appropriately on the live website and when I made the checks and assessments on the live website everything worked correctly remember this script is particularly useful in combination with the duplicator WordPress plugin however the duplicator won't make all the necessary changes to plugins and certain areas of your site so this script is particularly useful for changing information words and such like on your live website however once you've made the changes and you've clicked live run and you've checked out your website it is essential that you go back to your live server and remove the folder that's associated with the script to remove the script and the associated folder simply log back into filezilla double click on your public html folder scroll down to the associated folder for the script in this instance we called it the highlight that right mouse button and delete this is a necessary process because leaving that script on your server in the public HTML folder is a security risk so once you've made all the search and replace 
requirements for your live site, make sure that it is deleted.